is what's really going on in this country. Patriotism today is nothing more than statism. It's almost a worship of the state. It's almost a glorification of the state. Don't think the patriot statism movement is successful? Check out, check out the, um, uh, the, this, this latest movie at the box office. What was it called? The American Sniper movie? The American Sniper movie. $333,844,000 in America. Glorifying death. Overseas, it's made 140300000 Half a billion dollars in climbing towards a billion is how much money that's made. But look at America, 333 and they think they're being good Americans and Sean Hannity patriots. You're a good American, or whatever he says on his show. I, used, I listened to that a long time ago. Oh, it's so annoying. Great American? Oh, it's so annoying. Anyway, but uh, those, those guys right there, what are they? Why? That's great. We love death twice as much as everyone around the world. That's what that means. Because the whole world compared to us, and we love death more than them. You know, the, the opening scene of that movie, I was reading about it, I didn't watch it, obviously, but the opening scene of this movie is this sniper killing a kid when his mom's hands with, mom hands the little kid a grenade, and he picks off the mom, and then he picks off the... Now, why would you show American people death and gore and everything else like that to prop up and keep the war mentality going? Because America is a military-industrial complex? Right. We, we have so been conditioned with evil today by a beast system that we're going to look for defense by the government. Defend us from our, our enemies. We're going to look for it. And what, what, what's pushed? Blood, guts, gore on all the movies. And defense of all that. Oh, you need, the, you need the FBI, you need Homeland Security, you need all these people to protect you and to keep you safe. That's, and we got to go fight all these wars over there so they don't come here. Don't let them want to come here and fight. Come on. They ain't going to come here and fight us. What are they going to come with? Who gets them out of the sand? They can't get over here. They ain't got no Air Force. How are they going to get here? Yep. Love death. Amen. That's right. And that's America. That's where we're at. You know, that's, that's where we're at today. Now, not everybody, but the bulk of the population are so clueless to what's really going on out there. And that's where we're at here. Uh, you think of the opening, see this movie where it's glorifying this man that's a great shot. And he goes on, that man was a wicked man. He was not a saved man. He was not a Christian. He was not a God-fearing man. What's that? Yeah, he said he was. His, 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 uh, his gang or whatever he had, his group that he started, had the Punisher uh, logo on it. Right. The Kraft International. Kraft International. Man, that's weird. Anyway. Now all soldiers, and now today we live in a day and age where if you question anything, all soldiers are heroes no matter what. All of them are heroes no matter what. Support the troops no matter what. That's what we're told. Don't question. Don't, don't have any concern about it. You say you hate the military. No, I don't. I hate a military industrial complex that is an empire that goes all over the world trampling over people's countries. That's not what this country was founded upon. We actually believed that people's countries were their own and we shouldn't be in them. That's what we used to believe. Amen. That's how we were started. We didn't believe we were okay to go trample over other countries. In fact, we, we didn't want anything to do with an empire mentality. We understood what the British Empire was like and everything that, that went on. We didn't want that same mentality. But now, we ha now what do we have? Most of America has fallen for it, though. If you don't believe in the American empire, then you're not a good American. You might be a good Christian, though. But you might not be a good American because you won't fall down and worship the state and the military industrial complex and everything else. Then you must not be a good American. But we are fastly approaching a time where some people think, well, now these troops, let me ask you a question. What stops these troops that we're sending over and doing 
complete mind-altering things, too. Do you realize how these young men come back? They come back nearly as animals. Killers. So you hate them. No, I don't hate them. I want to see them get saved because they ain't got no peace. They got no peace. Those people have no peace, and they are tormented. I mean, they come back, and I, a lady was telling me a story. Um, one time here, I was up in, a um, couple years ago, I was, oh, when I bought my Tahoe a few years back, like three or four years ago, I was up north, and I bought that, and I was at the DNB with, with, and the lady was talking to me. She said that her husband, her husband, her ex-husband, he was her ex-husband, and I said, oh, and she said he came back from the war. And he was just, he was messed up. He burnt the house down. He was just like, he couldn't assimilate back into society. He couldn't like, he couldn't function. He had so much torture in his mind of the things that he had done over there and what he was ordered to do over there that it, it just, it just grieved his mind and he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't function. And I think he ended up killing himself. I'm not sure. But I think it's, if I remember right, that's what she told me. But many of them do. They have this post-traumatic syndrome of what they've been through and everything like that. What are they doing to these? What's gonna, what, what happens if they turn those troops in on us? Right, a lot of them are police. But what happens when they turn them on us? Like you said, they will. And yes, they will. And people say, no, they would, the military would never turn on. Well, I think some Christians maybe that are in the military now, but have you noticed that high-level administration positions, Christians are being pushed out and retiring? People that are professing to be saved people, they're saying, hey, he's kicked us out of the military. We're gone. We're out of high-ranking positions. We're being thrown out everywhere. Christians are being sent out of the military. Why is that? And people say, and people, yeah, they won't, because if somebody does have a deep-rooted conviction of that, they're not going to comply if they're saved. You know, but what, what are we seeing today, though? We are seeing the fact that we have, a, we have the most vicious army and military ever trained all around the world. What happens if we don't want to give up our guns? What do you do? You just turn the military in on the people. Or a staging ground, which some people think, like Cuba and other places, to bring in other troops, foreign troops in to do it, in American uniforms. 